We rejoin our pioneering band of scientists, a couple hundred years after the leap into the eternities. In this time since the leap, the whole society has worked tirelessly, to build infrastructure, that at one point, seemed to be an impossible task. They have made a very organized effort to be industrious, do the impossible, yet still ensure, a healthy balance, between work and play. They still had a ways to go yet before they could feel safe, from the ever-present threat, that the other society faced, but they have built very good schools, and created a very good family-slash-group-based organization, that can help ensure all needs are met from the growing number of neglected children. There are now some problems in the group, that are getting serious enough, to where even the most cynical of the founders see it. There is no money though, and everyone has access, to food, housing, medicine, and other support. Work duties are taken first by choice, then next by assignment when the need arises. Increasing numbers are skipping, their work duties. This is not encouraged, but is tolerated, because most are related through friendship or family. Work is getting organized to make very efficient use of labor. Hey look. It's Founder Hope and Family. Hi Founder Hope. Nice job creating this mess. The gutters are wonderful. Plenty of room here if you want to join. I have extra booze too. Sean, why don't you go home? We did a lot of work to get you the food and housing you have. Yet you have not helped out on your work assignments for months. Because the doctor said that if I destroy another liver, then the next one I get will make me sick each time I drink too much. How dare you tell me how to live my life? I am beginning to really hate alcohol. It used to seem a nice break, but it is making so many problems now. Sean can't you see that there is only so much, we have the power to do. I spent 25 years working. I figured that has earned me a little time off. Yes, but you spent the better part of 40 years, blowing off work and drinking your way through life. Is this the worthwhile way you plan to spend the next 1000 years? You all created this mess. I did not ask to be born into this. I enjoy this right now, and that is what I plan to keep doing. And you better give me a good liver next time, or else. Come on mom and dad. We are going to be late for the meeting if we stay. No point in talking more. Hello everyone. Welcome to our meeting of the founders and some selected of the oldest kids. It is nice to see everyone again. I know that we get very busy, but it is nice to see everyone here again. It has been a while since we were all together. While not everything has gone as smoothly as planned so far, we here have made tremendous progress in building this world and our new society to where it is, from literally just embers of a near impossible dream. This world had seen no technology at all, before we started, first order of business tonight, is in establishing a more organized leadership structure for our new society. In these many years so far, we have solved problems within families, and those that were between families, or could not otherwise be solved there, were generally taken up to one or more of us, the founders of this society. With our society growing, this has put an ever-increasing strain on all of us. Both for the sake of fairness, and for the sake of practicality, it has come time to change the leadership structure of our group. The subject has almost become a joke, with as long as we have been discussing it. It is my pleasure to announce that, we have finally come up with a compromise, here with more of the details, is founding member Tom Sparrow. Thank you founder Rax. When we all were trying to escape the violent society that we came from, one overriding truth, was shared by all of the kingdoms. They all have power that is concentrated in the hands of the few. They also all lie, cheat, steal, and beat their way to get power, and to keep holding it. The world is a constant struggle for power. Those with it, keep fighting both the poor masses, and the others in the world who have power elsewhere. Kingdom fighting against kingdom, and all taking what they have, from those underneath, and returning some order, but even more greed. If we let our group start out, with any one group in power over others, it will lead one day to an inevitable rebellion, by those who had been without power. Those who are oppressed, will eventually seek to gain what they do not have. This will bring violence. That only leads to an eventual death. Our small but growing group, is very different than most others. 
We started out as colleagues and friends. Now these many years later, we now are all family. Everyone is related to each other through marriages, in some way or another. One of nature's successes is the family. We will resolve what differences we can. Within families, with ever more distantly related people, the authority to deal with problems will go to the closest ancestor that is related to both parties involved in a dispute. From there, disputes not easily resolved within families will go to judges. The primary focus of these courts will be to help both parties reach a mutually agreeable resolution. Since we have so much time, and will always have to keep living with each other, it is far better to take a long time to resolve a dispute and have both parties agree. Then to take a decision, no matter how morally correct, that would lead to continued animosity. After the courts, the highest authority will be made up of a council of the wise. This grand council will be made up of all those individuals who have proven themselves to be trustworthy, reliable citizens. They also must have families going on for several generations. They must have a deep stake in the success of society, so they can always be relied on to make decisions that benefit all. In normal times, this will be the top group of leaders in our society. However, since we are still building and are in constant threat from our old society, the Founders Council will be in charge. Up until the point where we have enough safety and stability for the Grand Council to take over as the top group, we in the Founders Council are now the parents to all here. Being the parents, we do not seek to rule over our children, but to bring them happiness. We also created this situation and feel a very deep burden to see it a success. We here must bring freedom and a good world to all of our children. Then we must, for the peace in future years, willingly lay down our power, as they are ready to have it. Next on the agenda is founder Strano Amori, with more about the problems we have been seeing. Thank you. Starting off, I think that we need to realize that we all grossly underestimated how different life would be when you remove death from the equation. With this leap, we knew this would change everything, but even with that, I do not think we fully realized that the lifestyles, the habits, and everything we knew up to this point, all evolved, in one way or another, in a world where time was short. I went over detail after detail, about how to make the human body last longer. We all assumed that more time could just be filled, doing the many things we enjoyed, but never had the time to do. As it turns out, never having lived for this amount of time, we are quite unprepared for it. With so much time, everything from our habits, to our vices, to the relationships we have, all do have increasingly profound effects on us, in the long term. In one example, a life lived for lust, without much emotional connection, seems to be something that a large number of people justify, as being the most appropriate for them, in a short lifespan. But so much about lust, in one way or another, is often centered around the novelty of experiences or people, who are different than what the normal life provides. But with as much time as we have, there is not much room for the novel. The higher high of a new conquest, is not something that can always be sustained, for as long as we live, and even though there are now so many of us, extreme loneliness is an increasingly hard foe to fight. Behavior that had been normal in mortal lives, is far different here. If you had burned a few bridges in search of passion back then, you would likely never see the person again. We here, will have to live with that person, and those whom they care about year after year, century after century, for millennia to come. Additionally, very close emotional ties to those around us, prove to be something that we, far more heavily, rely on, than we ever could have expected, before having experienced this. To summarize a great many years of research, our bodies and our minds were just not designed to withstand the extreme psychological pressures that we are now facing. Of the many things we looked at, close emotional relationships fared far better than most things in maintaining a healthy mind, in spite of the pressures we are under. It is highly important that we create and maintain close family relations, and also those with the rest of our society. Our very minds and lives depend on it. Everything in our personal lives, as well as in the rules and direction we take as a society, must take this into account. Please stay tuned to part 2 of this episode, where this council meeting will resume, where it is now leaving off.